Queen Heartbreak, Christmas Blow as Queen won't be reunited with Little Archie. The Queen faces festival heartbreak this Christmas as it becomes clear that she will not be reunited with her knight is suing associate newspaper LTD of an article which reproduced parts of a handwritten letter sent to 76-year-old Thomas Marco in August 2018. At a high court hearing in London on Thursday, Mr. Justice whereby agreed to adjourn the trial with some residents. And the royals also attended church service at St. Mary's Milliday near the Norfolk estate. It will be the second conservative Christmas Meghan and Harry have spent away from the royal family after traveling to Canada for the celebrations in 2019. There is no plans to travel at the moment, but any travel plans will be kept under review. The couple have been due to visit the UK earlier this summer, but plans were rocked by the coronavirus travel restrictions. Meghan and Harry are currently living in Santa Barbara in Los Angeles and could also need to quarantine for 14 days of New England in this winter and ahead of Meghan's privacy trial in January. But earlier this year, the Duchess of Sussex won her request to postpone privacy action against the Mail on Sunday over the publication of a letter to the estranged father, Meghan III, great grandson Archie, after Meghan Marco and Prince Harry death plans to return to UK. The Queen 95 and the Duke of Denmark 99 have not seen Little Archie for almost a year following Meghan and Harry's decision to quit the Royal Rose at the end of March and live in the US. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex has planned to return on arriving in England. And Christmas plans for the Royals, like the rest of the UK, remain on hold due to their second national lockdown. At a press conference scene, Prince Harry recently revealed his son, Archie, had taken his first steps, along with a number of precious firsts during the coronavirus pandemic. Speaking earlier this month, he said, We were both there for the first steps, his first run, his first fall, and his first everything. Megan added, And it's just fantastic because I think in so many ways we are fortunate to be able to have this time to watch him grow. And in an absence of COVID-19, we could be traveling and working more externally, and we could have missed a lot of those moments. So I think it's been a lot of good family time. So sad today, the Prime Minister Thursday. Christmas is going to be different this year, perhaps very different. Most is my sincere hope and belief that by taking tough action now, we can allow families across the country to be together. The royal family traditionally spent Christmas and New Year at the Queen's Centering House, which was due to start on January 11 next year until the autumn. A spokesperson of Duke and Duchess said, it is unlikely that the, the Duchess will be traveling before the end of the year because the focus had been on the trial in January. As that is no longer happening,